Welcome to the English box. I have prepared a lesson about the present perfect simple and the past simple. I have prepared. That's an example of the present perfect simple. Why don't I say I prepared? What's the difference between the present perfect simple and the past simple? Well, in this video, I'm going to describe the difference to you. So let's begin by looking at the structure of the present perfect simple. On the board in front of you, there are four examples. Number one, I have eaten breakfast already. Number two, I have worked as a journalist for two years. Number three, I have never heard of Cristiano Ronaldo. And number four, he has already done his homework. So we begin the sentence with the subject. Are you, he, she, it, we, or they? Then we have the auxiliary verb, have, or in the third person, has. We then have the main verb in the past participle form. For example, eaten, worked, heard, or done. And finally, we have the complement or the object of the sentence. What about in negative? To make this sentence negative, all you have to do is add not to the auxiliary verb have. So have becomes haven't and has becomes hasn't. A question is very easy to make. All you do is invert the auxiliary verb and the subject. So you have eaten in question form becomes have you eaten? Or she has been to America becomes has she been to America? So moving on from the structure of the sentence, let's look now at the use of the present perfect simple. The first use is for an action that started in the past and has continued to the present and is still happening in the present and will probably continue in the future as well. <clears throat> for example, I've worked for the company for 10 years, or I've worked for the company since 2000. So I started my job at this company in the year 2000, and I have been working for this period of 10 years up until today, and I will continue working for them in the future. We use for for the time period, and we use since for the time point. Now we have a couple of exercises. There are 10 sentences. In each sentence, there is one mistake. Where is the mistake? I've underlined three of the sentences for a very special reason. They all have the same mistake in them. I've met her three years ago. She's broken her leg yesterday. I've had breakfast at eight this morning. These are all incorrect, but why? So here are the answers. And here's the explanation of why they are incorrect. So we use the present perfect simple to describe an action that is without a specified time in the past. We place the emphasis or the importance on the action itself and not when it happened. So we can look at some examples here. England have scored four times against an underperforming German side. He has grown up a lot. People have not traveled to Mars. I have already read that book and man has walked on the moon. In these sentences, the action is what is important and not when it happened. With the present perfect simple, we can use adverbs and time expressions such as ever, before, several times, never, so far, already, and yet. These are unspecific time expressions. They can happen at any point in the big red circle on the whiteboard. If we want to say when something happened, if we want to give a specific time expression in the past, then we have to use the past simple. 
So we would not say I have been to America two years ago. We would say I went to America two years ago. However, if someone only wants to know if we have been to America once or twice or three times in our life, then when we went last time is not important. So I would say I have been to America. That brings us to the end of the video. I hope it helped your understanding of the difference between the present perfect simple and the past simple. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to see related videos, then you can click on the respective panels to watch videos about the past continuous, future simple, future continuous, and future perfect. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.